We had to switch it up for the setup for the one time. Shout out to, to Corey. I have Kay Nicole on the side. We can't even see her, but she here. She's here. Go ahead and say hi. She is here. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, you guys. This is your girl, Disfrit Amelia, back again with another Fifty Ho. I hope you all have had a blessed week and have found multiple things to be grateful for. So in this video, we're going to be giving some concert tips. There's a lot of music festivals and concerts coming up, I feel like in this previous fall, well, all year round, but there's gonna be Afropunk, um, one music fest just passed. I just went to a Gold Link concert very recently. So I just wanted to give out some concert tips. I'm a lover of concerts. I've been going to concerts since I was 16, and I feel like I've had my fair share of experience. So I just wanted to share some tips with you guys. And if you have any tips of your own, you can leave them in the comment box below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into these tips. The first tip is to screenshot your ticket or add it to the wallet app on your phone if you have an iPhone. This is very important just because we're in a technological age right now. So people don't really print their tickets anymore, at least I don't. I haven't printed out a concert ticket in a very long time. But there is a app on your phone if you have an iPhone called the wallet. As soon as you find a ticket, I think it works mostly for like Ticketmaster, but under every app you should get like an email confirmation and underneath that email it should say add to wallet and that's basically how you get all your tickets. Yes, but that's basically how you get like all your tickets and things. You put it on your phone and that way they can just scan it from your phone and you do not need to have it printed. Now, if it's based on data usage and if you don't have Wi-Fi at the time, I suggest you either screenshot it, you can add it to your notes on your phone, but like screenshotting it is very safe because that way you have it as a picture and you can pull it up at any time. I put bring water. You can't bring water to another. They don't want you to be <laughs> hydrated, okay? You cannot bring your own water. You can't bring your own water. You know what? I say just stay hydrated instead of bring water. Make sure you drink water beforehand or like something that's gonna give you hydration, like energy. Like drink Gatorade, Powerade, water. Don't drink soda because it's really gonna tire you out. You're gonna lose your energy very fast. Don't drink any kind of soda, maybe tea, I don't know. Anything that hydrates you, but make sure you drink water and like have a little snack before you actually go into that venue because you're gonna be standing for a very long time and there's not gonna be any water around you. Or if you do leave to get water, you are not gonna get your space back. I can tell you that now. Since you are drinking so much water, make sure that you use the bathroom beforehand as well. You do not wanna be standing there for those two, three hours that you're listening to your favorite artists thinking to yourself that you need to use the bathroom. Like you need to use the restroom before you even stand in line. Or if you have time, when you get into the venue, find the restroom and use it and then go stand in your spot to wait for your favorite artist. But make sure you choose the restroom. You don't wanna be that one person that is pushing through everybody just to use the bathroom when you know you should have used it before you even stood up there. Don't do that. So if you are with a group, make sure you stay with your group, especially if it's in a music festival kind of setting where there's multiple stages, there's multiple people, and there's a lot of space in between. You wanna make sure that you stay with your group or that you guys keep in contact if you do split up. Like if one person goes to the restroom and you're holding the spot or if somebody gets some food and you're holding the spot, you wanna make sure that you guys stay in contact because you don't wanna get lost at any point in time. It can be a very scary position for you not to know where you are or not to know where your friends are when there's a lot of people, there's a lot of noise that's gonna be going on. So please make sure that you know where your friends are. And then if you're by yourself, make sure that you're aware of your surroundings, that you know where the exits are, that you know where the security is. And this is when you're with a group as well. But especially if you're by yourself and you don't have anybody with you, just make sure that you know where all the exits are, probably like talk to a security guard just so that they can see your face just in case you end up missing or something I don't know hopefully you don't end up missing 
you're probably not gonna end up missing at a concert. Just make sure that you talk to somebody and that you know where everything is so that if it's time to move out, then you have that space to move out. Like 60% of the time I'm at concerts by myself. So I always make sure that I at least talk to security guard. I know where the exits are. I know where everything is and I have my things together. Charge all of your electronics before you go. You cannot go to the concert and want to snapchat the whole thing if your phone is on 20 percent or if your camera is on five percent like it's not gonna work make sure you charge it either overnight before you leave like one or two hours before you leave so that way you can make sure everything is good and ready and that you are set before you walk into that concert area also don't bring your whole life with you make sure you can touch and feel everything that you bring that's on you i am a culprit of this because most of the times i do bring my whole life with me okay i used to have a book bag that like had a little secret hole so like you know when you open the book bag but there was like a opening where you can like put stuff in so it would go at the bottom of the bag so that way when security checked my bag they didn't know if i had like water or crackers or snacks or anything you know that's what i did but don't do that because they will confiscate your bag and you just won't have anything so make sure you have like the essentials like your id or your phone or money if you want to get anything a charger probably if you ended up not charging your cell phone then you would need that as well so make sure that you bring your id this is like a driver's license a state id i guess there's like school ids but something that has your actual date of birth on it because if you're over 21 or 21 and you want to drink they're not going to let you drink without an id ID and if you are under 21 and if you're going to a certain concert venue they're probably gonna side eye you if you walk in there with no ID or identification and you're probably gonna get an X on your hand even if you are over 21 so make sure you have an ID just to make sure that you don't have to go through all those stops okay it's okay to take a break if you need to like sometimes you find yourself at a concert where you're not feeling your best you may be sick or something but you're like i bought this ticket so i'm gonna go but then when you get there you are not feeling it so it's okay to take a break if you need to like get out of the crowd then do that you don't want to be passing out when this concert is going on so if you need to take a break if you need to sit down if you actually need to get some water then go ahead and do that just make sure you are at your healthiest when you're there now we're gonna get into some style tips now this is just my opinion i cannot tell you what not and what to wear slash what to put on but this is just from my experience and like how i go about things and what makes me the most comfortable which can hopefully help you to make some decisions when going to a concert you can be cute but be comfortable like it is okay to be cute you know you can stunt if you want to but be comfortable like don't wear your tightest jeans don't have everything out and about because you're gonna be standing with like a couple of hundred other people and they're gonna be pushing on you and if something pops loose from your outfit that you thought you were styling in there is no way you can be able to put it together with all those people around you so make sure you are cute but comfortable so like jeans i wear a lot of overalls sometimes when i go out and i'll like what did i just say and i will pair it with a really cute shirt i personally wear like sneakers or like flats when going to concerts because you're probably prone to somebody stepping on your toe or to stepping into something that you don't really want to step into because people just drop stuff on the floor when you go to concerts they don't care people don't have manners when you go to concerts either they just don't care okay so be ready wear something cute and comfortable and that you can dance in but still look good in and also be ready to sweat in because that's the thing i can't tell you not to wear makeup but if you do wear makeup make sure it's waterproof <laughs> make sure it's matte and make sure it's gonna be a long 
wear kind of situation because you will be sweating there probably will be water thrown and there's gonna be a hell of people around you so if you turn and wipe your face off on somebody's shirt that's not gonna be a good situation make sure it's gonna stay on your face and make sure it's B if you're gonna do it be cute okay go all out slay what do you have to lose nothing in my personal opinion, do not wear heels if you're going to be standing for so long. Like most concerts are like two-ish hours, like two and a half hours, and you have a long waiting time. Like you have to wait in line, you're waiting before the opening person comes up or before the actual artist comes up. So you're standing for a good two to three hours. And then you gotta walk out of there when it's finished. So you don't want your feet to be hurting for so long or at all. So I say wear comfortable shoes. If you do wear, I guess, a heel, make sure it's supported. Probably like a boot kind of heel or maybe like a kitten heel if you wanna do something like that, something really small. Don't go all out with the stilettos and it's just not, it's not that serious. It's okay, you can leave them for another occasion. I may just do like a, a little concert lookbook just because, you know, it's cute. Cute and comfortable, right? things I wear to concerts, it's lit. I'm gonna do it, it's lit. Just have an open mind of going into these concerts because sometimes there will be opening artists that you're not aware of or that you don't know and you'll end up loving once you get out. Or maybe your favorite artist does a song that you don't really listen to all the time and because of that performance, you love that song now. So just have an open mind about your experience. Live performances are most of the times a lot better than when you just listen to the music at home because you get the vibe of what the artist is going through. Sometimes I do like explanations of what the song means to them. Being with a crowd, being with that kind of family situation, everyone is together in a little huddle, all enjoying the same thing. So just have an open mind, an open heart, open ears about your experience that you're gonna be doing. Cause sometimes you may expect something and you come out with a whole different result. So just let loose and have fun and enjoy that concert okay thank you guys for watching i love you all so 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 much please remember to like share comment and subscribe to this channel i'll see you all next time